Right guys, how you doing? And uh, welcome to the channel again, and uh, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Um, I'm having a great time, and today's video is a fairly shortish video, and it's on laser rangefinders. Um, I'm sure we all know why it's important to have a rangefinder so that you know when air rifling how far away your target is so you can cal calculate the pellet drop and trajectory. Um, if you don't, check out the beginner series videos, there's one all about it there. But rangefinders, they can cost a fortune. Um, there's loads of specialist ones out there. You know I love my ATN scopes. ATN have brought one out now, which is a handhold one, which will talk directly to the scope, set the range up, and work out all the ballistics for me. Brilliant! It's 300 quid. Mm. Not paying that much. You know, that is a lot of money. And then there's some other ones out there now that uh, will communicate through Bluetooth to your phone, and once you put all the details of your rifle in it and your scope, it'll tell you how many clicks to go up and how many clicks to go down, and it'll say it, or put it in earpieces for you. Great! Yeah! Again, two to three hundred pound. I just want something to tell me the range. I want to know. That's 30 yards. I just want to press a button. I don't want all that fancy stuff. So, um, I'm like you, I'm sure you've uh, searched around on eBay and you've seen all of these range finders out there, all the way from, say, 50 pounds to 80 pounds. And they're all Chinese clones, copies of each other, because of they all are pretty much the same technology, and they're just being wrapped in different skins and different names on them and everything. And you're wondering, are they worth it? So, I thought, I'll take the plunge for you guys. I'll take one for the team. And um, I got one, and uh, this is just a clone. This one's called an E-Yo-Yo. What a great name on there. And I think this was £65 from eBay. Now, I did get it from a UK company, so if I had any problems, I could send it back. So, certainly recommend you do that. And as always, with eBay, be careful. You don't know what you're getting. Um, especially uh, when they are clones of standard units with just rebadged and everything like that. So, definitely get it from your own country and somewhere where you can go and send it back to them without having to wait months and months and months. Now, this one actually only took a couple of days to turn up. So, uh, yeah. I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. Now, according to this thing, it will go up to 700 yards range finding, which is more than adequate for an air rifle. Um, it will handle fog as well, so if it's foggy, then it will sort that out. And I'll talk a little bit more about how the range finder works, which some of you guys might not know. Um, it also does speed as well, so it will be able to tell you how fast something's going in meters per second um, on there as well. And I think it even does feet per second. And some of them will even allow you to do trigonometry to work out height as well. But this one doesn't do that. Um, and this is labelled and titled, if we have a look here, for all sorts of things. But primarily, golf and hunting. Now, I play a bit of golf as well, so I thought, yeah, it would be a good idea to have one. You know, I could stick it in my golf bag and work out how far away the, the, the pin is. And uh, more importantly, I can have it for range finding, for uh, hunting and target shooting, etc. So... What did I get in the box? Well, lots of these are pretty standard. You get a nice little standard box in here. We get instruction manuals, and nine times out of ten, these instruction manuals are Chinese, converted to English, and pretty bad, pretty poor. Throw it away. Nine times out of ten, you're just going to have to work out how to use it. Cleaning cloths you usually get, and nine times out of ten, you'll get one of these little batteries in here. And I can't remember the type of battery. I'll put it down at the bottom what type of battery it is. Uh, but quite a lot of the times, they will include a battery for you. But more importantly, the unit itself. And they all look pretty much the same at this price range. And I'm pretty sure they've got exactly the same technology in them. They come from the same factory and they all behave the same. They're just badged and coloured differently. Now this one's supposed to be weatherproof. You know, not that you can throw it in the river, but certainly if you're out and raining, it shouldn't be too bad on here. And for those that don't know how these bad boys work, it's quite simple. What we've got here is if we look through that end, uh, if I can get the, there you go, you can see the wall behind going through. So the top part here is just like a monoscope, okay, it's just like one half of a binocular, like a little telescope. And that's what you look through, uh, and there's a little LCD projection in there. What I try and do is I try and set up uh, some tripods so you can see the view through this as well, because I've noticed that quite a lot of reviews of rangefinders don't actually show you what you can see. So I'll try and sort that out. But basically, you look through here, you can adjust the eyepiece for focus, and this bottom bit is the bad boy. That's the, ray, the, the laser. So what happens is when you press the button, the laser, if 
fires out at the speed of light at three times 10 to the eight meters per second. And then it will bounce off something and come back in. And in here is a very accurate little clock and it knows how fast that light's traveling because light is constant and it knows how long it took to bounce back and therefore it can work out the distance using simple speed time distance uh, equations. And that's how it works, it's dead simple. So it is a line of sight. So if you want to range, uh, range find a, say a rabbit out in a field, then you have to have a clear line of sight, pop the crosshairs on it, press the button, and then it should pop up and tell you what it is in yards or meters. You can change this to be for one. And that is basically how they work. Um, little battery in here, so if we just open up there, and then we can just open this little bad boy up here and make sure I, I get it right. There we go, and got it open, battery slots in there, and then you connect it back up, nice and simple. Quite a lot of them are really, really simple. Two buttons, that's all it is. One to switch it on, and one to change the modes. So you switch it on, you make sure you're in whatever mode you want, so for example, range mode, and then you press the button here, and it tells you the range. And then there's no switch off, it will power itself off after about 30 to 40 seconds of non-usage. It fires up instantly and it's good to go. And usually they come with a nice little carry pouches as well to keep them on your belt and you can attach that to your belt with a little belt strap here. Quite a nice little unit. So, is it any good? Well, let's go through the characteristics of this. It's when you're holding it, you've got to be as steady as possible to get the crosshairs on there. Now this particular unit, and I'll leave a link to this unit, has two features for range finding. One is where you can just press the button and it will actually bounce the laser out and comes back and tells you what it bounced off. And it will tell you then the distance in either yards or meters depending on where you've got it sent to. The other one has a button feature where you keep the button pressed down and it's constantly scanning and I find that feature much more useful because you're wobbling all over the place trying to hold this. So I just keep the button pressed down and then when I know I've got the crosshair on, I look at the range and it tells me what the range is. And I find that extremely useful. Another feature in this one also is uh, the golfing tee on there. Now I've just taken it literally 10 minutes ago down to my lo local golf course and I just tried it out. I uh, just stood at the top and just picked out some targets off the driving range with the golf flags, stuck it in the golf tee mode where literally it just gives you like a little golf symbol, a little tee, uh, golf flag symbol. You uh, put the crosshairs, literally line it up uh, on the flag. Now the flag does need to be out a little bit. If it's hanging down on the pole, it's not gonna work very well on a still day. And it actually does work quite well. Um, and the good thing about it is they also had the driving range marked out in meters so I could check. And it, it is pretty bloody accurate. It does work on that. Um, I've also arranged find this one. Now it's reported to be 700 meters. Um, uh, sorry, 700 yards. Now I've actually managed to range find with this out to about 500 yards. Um, it does take a bit of getting used to, you know, you're having to get it really hold it as steady as possible because you've got to remember now that light is bouncing out and then it's coming back now. It's traveling fast but little movements and it doesn't quite get into the sensor. So it is possible, it does work out to that distance, but you know what? I am using this for air rifling. I ain't going to use this over 100 yards, let alone 700 yards. Now for golf, yeah, up to 300 yards, that's pretty good. You know, I know I can't hit a ball over 300 yards and I can tell that sort of distance. So I can pick this up and go, yeah, that's where the golf tee is. That, uh, that's where the flag is and I'm good to go. But for what we're more interested in is for uh, air rifling, yeah, this does work very, very well. Um, the fog mode. <laughs> now, in the UK, we do get fog every now and then, uh, believe it or not. Yes, all the stories are true. Now, I have tried this in fog, and the problem with fog is that fog is basically small particles of water vapour in the air, and what happens is it disperses the laser beams around all over the place, and so they don't bounce back true to here, and what you actually get is a very false reading, because the chances are that it's going to send out the laser, it's going to bounce off water droplets, come straight back, probably six or seven yards in front of you. So it just, you know, it causes problems. So this has what's on it uh, called a fog mode, which is supposed to combat that by sending out more lasers and working out the average as it comes back. It don't work. <laughs>
It doesn't work. Um, it wasn't a really, really foggy day. I could see 100 yards in front of me and I tried range finding out to 20 yards, 30 yards. It just didn't work. It just kept coming back with its minimum distance of six yards. So the fog mode on it is pants, doesn't work. But as a nice, simple, cheap little unit, now I've had this now for three months, maybe four months, and I've had zero problems with it. I think it is brilliant for the money. So are cheap laser range finders worth it? Well, yes, if you get the right one. Like I said, do some reviews, check out, go to Amazon or to eBay. I'd suggest you go to Amazon and look at the people on Amazon, look at the reviews that they're doing on there and see what they've said about a particular unit and then buy that particular unit if the reviews are quite good. Also try to buy it from Repital. Um, by that I mean either on Amazon where you can send it back to them because of their policies or eBay where you have a local to your country trader who's got a good feedback rating and go back from there. Do not buy directly from China or anywhere like that um, and obviously it's buyer beware when you're buying stuff like this. So personally I would recommend Amazon to get uh, something like this. Uh, eBay if you want to risk it and you want to get it slightly cheaper but then of course you are taking the risk. But for air rifling, these cheap clone laser range finders, yes, they work. They're not as good as the more expensive ones. Definitely not. And if you want to be out hunting coyotes at seven, eight hundred yards, no, no. That's when you really are starting to be serious and you're starting to get a proper laser range finder. But for us air riflers out there, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Why spend a fortune when you do not need to? So, hopefully that gives you a bit of confidence about going out and buying one of these. For those that have been thinking about it, I'm glad I got this one. Um, it's a, a good little unit. It does the job. It's waterproof-ish, you know, as long as you keep it dry. It's, it's all right if it gets rained on. It's not a problem at all. It's light. It's simple. The battery lasts for ages. It powers off when it doesn't need to. And it does the job. It does the job very, very well. So, uh, Hopefully you like this video. As usual, give me the big thumbs up, or if you didn't like it, give me the thumbs down. Doesn't matter to me, as long as you're watching the video and comments down below. Please keep them civil. Your thoughts, your experiences, which ones have you got? I will leave some links down below to this one itself that I got. And um, if you want to donate, I'll stick a link in the description of the video for a donate link to PayPal. Like I said, all the money goes back to the channel. But until next time, see you later guys and have fun. Bye bye.